Hey everybody, so I was recently at the drugstore and I was browsing through the makeup aisles like I usually do and I stumbled across the um, section of Essence and I was taking a look at their lipsticks and they were on sale. They're normally uh, $2.99 I believe, that's in the US so maybe it's more in Canada. But regardless, they were on sale for $1.50 so I was like, that is so cheap. There's a whole bunch of colors I was interested in so I ended up picking up six of them, which is not like me at all, but for a dollar fifty, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a swatch video so you guys can see these colors. I've always wanted to do a lip swatch video. I don't have the biggest lips. I actually have quite thin lips, so I might not be the best person in the world when I'm doing a lip swatch video, but I thought it would be fun anyways. Just reading from the Ulta website, it says they retail for $2.99. It's the Essence Long Lasting Lipstick. There are nine shades, so I have six of them, and it says Long Lasting Love. You simply have to fall in love with the Long Lasting Lipsticks by Essence. The lipsticks provide your lips with intensive color for several hours without drying them out. So we shall see. Okay, so I'm going to start from lightest to darkest. There was a section that was called the Nudes, so I got a few of them from the Nude collection, but they're all long lasting lipsticks, so they're all from the same collection. This first one is 02 Porcelain Doll. That's there we go. That's what the packaging looks like. There's the color there. I have a feeling this is going to be quite pale on me. Maybe when I have a tan, it will look a bit better. That's zero two right there. Next we have shade 11. This is called Nude Love and the packaging is in a darker black packaging with the color around the middle. I'm not sure why the packaging is different for different colors. This one is a shade, I was going to say a shade darker, but it's not. It's equally as light and it's just more on the pink spectrum. So there it is there. I thought it looked slightly darker, but honestly it's just more of a pinky color. Next we have this shade 05 and this is in Cool Nude, so the color is actually the color of the packaging. That's what that one looks like. I have a feeling I'm going to love this shade. It's like a Your Lips But Better color. Very, very pretty. Next we have shade 13. This is the shade Love Me. And it looks like a very vibrant pink, like a hot pink color. This is not the typical color that you'll find me wearing, but I wanted to try it out for $1.50, why not? Then we have shade 01. This is Coral Calling. This one, again, very, very vibrant. I think this would look a lot better in the summertime. There it is right there. And lastly, we have 04 on the catwalk. So the packaging for that is again black with the color around it. When you open it, that's what this shade looks like there. It actually swatches lighter than it is in the tube. That's what it's like there. It's like a red, but almost a watermelon red. Alright, so those are all the shades. My lips are a little bit stained at the moment, but I decided to put back on the color 05 Cool Nude. I think this one looks really good with this makeup look. It's just more of a dark nude. You can still kind of see the red under it, but that's what you get for swatching. As far as application, they are very easy to apply. I was actually quite surprised. Um, they're not the type of lipstick where they're so pigmented that you have to be super, super careful. As you saw, I could, I could put it on pretty quickly, rub my lips together, and if it wasn't perfect, it, it didn't really matter because it's not like that super intense pigment. But that being said, I mean, looking at the swatches, there still is enough color in each separate one, enough to even distinguish even between the light shades. So I am impressed with that. They feel really nice on the lips on first application. It's almost like there's a little bit of gloss to them, but 
don't know, they're just very, very creamy. They leave a little bit of a shine on the lips, but not too much, not like a lip gloss. I was wearing this shade earlier in the day when I recorded a Get Ready With Me, and as far as longevity, honestly, this one in particular didn't last that long at all. Um, I wore it throughout the video, and then for a little bit afterwards, and then I ate lunch and it was pretty much gone. So I'll have to experiment with them some more. It does say long-lasting lipstick, um, I've only experimented with one and I didn't have that first impression from it, but I will keep you guys updated on that. But for a really super inexpensive lipstick that feels great on the lips and comes in some really pretty shades, I definitely think it's something worth checking out, especially if you want to add a couple shades that you don't wear very often, but that you definitely want to play around with. I know I like doing that, so if you just want to add to your makeup collection, definitely check out Essence. They, these feel fabulous. I think the colors are really pretty. and. They're super cheap. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.